Streaming has become an unstoppable trend, and it could be a $149 billion market by 2026. You know the popular players like Disney and Netflix, but in this video, I'll uncover the best stocks you haven't heard of, the top streaming stocks to buy to ride this trend. We're talking top stocks to buy today on Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel. I want to send a special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, the video streaming market surged last year with major services reporting a 50% growth in subscriptions. And like the e-commerce trend we talked about last week, that trend to cord cutting has been growing, put the lockdowns forced 10 years of growth into one and boosted the theme. In years past, the focus has been on streaming entertainment, but that pandemic brought the necessity to stream education and, and even our social interactions and that made this a part of all our lives. The video streaming market is expected to reach $149 billion globally by 2026 from just 38 billion in 2018. That's growth of more than 18% a year. Disney Plus alone has added 95 million subscribers in just 15 months, plus another 52 million subscribers on Hulu and ESPN Plus, and expects almost 300 million by 2026. Netflix is expected to also grow to 290 million, and even lagging rivals like Amazon Prime and HBO could top hundreds of millions of subs. And when you hear about the stocks to buy in this theme, you almost exclusively hear about those popular stocks in the entertainment category. But the trend of video streaming is so much bigger. YouTube, the big daddy of video streaming, has grown to more than 2 billion monthly users, and while old timers like myself didn't really start watching YouTube until later in life, whole generations are growing up on the platform. Almost four in five US internet users under the age of 35 are active on the site. So in this video, I wanna show you how to build a stock list of those companies to watch in that streaming mega trend. We'll find all the stocks in the theme, including those undiscovered companies with the most to gain. I'll then show you how to narrow your list and reveal the top five streaming stocks I'm watching for the biggest trend in a decade. We'll be using stockcard.io to start our stock search, and there's a couple of ways I like to use this platform. I can go here to the discover menu option, and then start typing in my theme in the search bar. That drop down is then going to show me not only the stocks with those keywords in the company name, but also groups of stocks in that theme. Here we see lots of separate groups in streaming, and it's a great reminder that it's not just video streaming, but music, podcasts, and streaming software stocks that we might want to check out. I can click on any of these, and here we see I've got 39 stocks to research in that video streaming group. I can also go back to this featured tab and check out the stock collections by scrolling down. We see virtual and augmented reality, space travel, both of which I'll be doing videos on, and here we have 77 stocks in the Streaming Wars collection. Again, though, clicking through shows me all the ratios built into these four stock cards for growth potential, operations, stock performance, and valuation. I'll leave a link to stock card in the video description below. Check that out and use the promo code BOWTIENATION, all one word in lowercase, for an exclusive discount for everyone out there in the community. Now, like all the big trends I'm following, I want to look not only at the headline companies, those popular stocks front and center of the trend, but also the ones you might not hear about quite as much. In streaming, of course, you already know about the big dogs like Netflix and Disney, and it's not that these popular stocks won't do well. If Disney is trading at all-time highs and still doing business with one arm tied behind its back with those parks closed. The idea, though, is to find these undiscovered stocks that are making this streaming trend possible will be benefiting from that theme and maybe are a little less expensive as well. So for those five stocks to watch, I wanted to pick companies from different parts of that theme. I looked into cloud infrastructure services that help deliver that stream faster and securely. I looked into the different categories like audio and video streaming, as well as those entertainment streaming services that are grabbing the headlines. I also wanted to make sure the stocks in the list were growing revenues consistent with that trend in streaming growth. So if streaming is growing by 20 plus percent a year, then I want to find companies that are able to leverage that growth into even faster sales growth for their shares. And finally, I looked at user growth or market share growth for the companies. While other stocks, you might watch that earnings growth, for these kinds of subscription services, it's really all about that user growth and how the company is monetizing those users. Our first streaming stock to buy is going to be familiar to all you out there in the nation, Fastly, ticker FSLY, an edge cloud platform provider that helps some of the largest companies develop and deliver their content over the internet. I recommended Fastly in November 2019 and again last March, just before the shares took off for a seven-fold return. This stock has plunged since early February, still way above last year's price, but has dropped 39% from the peak. 
Now, sales grew up 40% on a year-over-year -year basis in the fourth quarter, but management guided to slower 31% growth this year. That slowdown in growth scared investors, but I think this is still a great stock that takes advantage of that theme, and I'm using the sell-off to pick up more shares. Management's guidance for $380 million in 2021 sales means the stock now trades for 21 times sales, down from trading at about 40 times sales last year. That's still not cheap, but Fastly is an innovator in a $35 billion market for app services, security, CDN, and streaming. It's taking market share from those legacy providers and will grow into that valuation. The company has a great balance sheet with over $400 million in cash and just $32 million in debt. It's got all the cash it needs to acquire or develop the tools to keep up that growth. Now, like a lot of these growth stocks, shares of Fastly will follow the market higher and lower, so there could still be more pain if stocks continue to sell off. But this one is a big part of that trend portfolio and should keep moving higher over the long term. Next here is actually a competitor to Fastly, Akamai Technologies, ticker AKAM. And this is one of those legacy content delivery networks, CDNs, but a strong value play in the theme and some strong catalysts for growth. The company has more than 300,000 servers and 4,000 locations and nearly 1,000 cities worldwide. So it has the scale that Fastly just can't touch. The shares kind of flatlined over the five years to 2019 on weakness in that CDN business as some of its biggest customers brought their own delivery networks in-house, but that decline has stopped and growth is back with this trend in streaming. Now, Akamai is also offering cybersecurity solutions, which is growing at 30% annually and grew to a billion dollars in 2020 revenue. It's been able to build on that customer base and the margins are higher than that CDN business. Now, overall revenue growth is a little slower at 10% annually, but it's building out those segments that are taking that higher. Security is growing at 30% and edge applications at 23% a year. Shares trade for just 4.9 times sales. And this is one of the few in this theme that analysts have targets well above the current price. Analysts have an average target of $116 per share, about 21% above the current price. Next here, I wanted to highlight a gaming platform and Huya Inc, ticker H-U-Y-A, the largest live stream gaming platform in China. Now gaming is where the real growth has been over the last few years, but I feel like this is just coming into its monetization, so we could see revenues for these platforms take off. Revenue is growing at 24% annually, and the company is already profitable with 75% earnings growth in the last quarter. Average monthly users were up 18% annually to 173 million in the most recent quarter with 6 million of those premium users. Now the balance sheet is also very strong here with 1.6 billion in cash and short-term investments and no debt. That's 24% of the market value of this stock in cash. A Spotify, ticker SPOT, is better known as a music streamer, but also has a catalyst in this video streaming theme. A Spotify is by far the largest music streaming provider with 155 million subscribers and 345 million monthly users in 170 markets. The company reported 27% user growth last quarter and revenue is up 17% year over year. Now, Spotify has been aggressively adding podcasts over the last year, signing exclusive deals with people like Joe Rogan and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and then being able to monetize them through these ads and the premium services. And it's now making a big push into video streaming of the podcasts on the platform that could be the next catalyst for the shares. Management has given 2021 guidance of up to 427 million users, which would be growth of 24% and 11.5 billion in revenue. Now that puts the shares at just over five times on a price to sales basis. So one of the cheaper ones on this list. Now as a huge nerd for Marvel, I couldn't talk about streaming without also talking about Disney, ticker DIS. Honestly, I was a long time holdout on these video subscription services, but Disney has the franchises that you just have to watch. Considering it's signed up almost 100 million subscribers to Disney Plus in barely a year, and the forecasts are for growth of 300 million over the next few years, that's growth that you can't ignore as an investor. Now, revenue was down 22% in the first quarter to 16.2 billion, but that's on a 53% plunge in the Parks and Experiences division. And with the return of Parks and Studio revenue later this year, sales are expected to jump 25% to $86 billion next year. Now that's still another year out, but makes the stock a value play for anyone with the patience to wait. Click on the video to the right for the digital wallet stocks to buy. Five stocks in what's probably my favorite major theme of the decade. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.